Black bean pork ribs are a staple of dim sum, but I find the ones at the restaurants are often chewy because of the rate and volume they need to be pushed out. This is my version which is super tender and super savory. You will need a pork side rib also called spare ribs. Cut the ribs up individually and then using a big knife chop them into one to two inch pieces. You'll need about two pounds. Some neutral tasting oils such as canola, vegetable or peanut oil. It's also important to use oils like this because they have a very high smoking point. Do not use olive oil. One teaspoon of chili flakes. One teaspoon of salt. Six to eight cloves of garlic minced. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. One teaspoon of oyster sauce. Two tablespoons of preserved black beans. These are full of savory flavor and what's going to make this dish so aromatic. You'll find them at an Asian grocery store. Over high heat let the walker pan heat up. You want it scorching hot. Add a generous amount of an oil that has a high smoking point as mentioned earlier. I'm using canola oil but any high smoking point oil will work just fine. Make sure the pork is dry before adding it to the wok or pan, just like how Julia's child taught people. This does two things. It keeps the oil splatter to a minimum and lets the meat brown quicker. Do not crowd the pan. You may need to do this in batches, so take your time. See that flame? That's what gives Chinese restaurant food that aromatic flavor that is hard to reproduce at home. In Cantonese, it's called the breath of the wok or wok hei. You are browning the meat, not trying to cook it at this point. So don't worry about cooking it all the way through. So I'm cooking this outside on my wok station, but the same steps to make this in a frying pan can be followed on a regular stove. The pieces are all starting to brown and it smells awesome. All right, next it's time to add the flavor. Here's the mixture of black beans, garlic, chili flakes, and some salt. Add it to the pork and continue to stir and brown. Add two teaspoons of light soy sauce. Teaspoon of oyster sauce. some salt, stir to mix. It is starting to smell amazing. If it smelled great before, now it's smelling out of this world. Add a cup of water and bring to a boil. So this step will make the ribs super tender. So what we need to do is transfer to a pot and bake for one and a half to two hours at 300 degrees Fahrenheit until the pork becomes tender and the connective tissue is all broken down. A lot of the fat will have rendered out of the ribs but it can be skimmed off before serving so it's not all oily. Serve it on a bed of rice and garnish with some diced green onions. Just look at how wonderful this looks. It's savory, it's tasty. This was awesome to eat. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more videos. All right, until next time, bye.